Brandon, what'd it do? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. my God. <laughs> the problem is, and it's a great problem. What's it doing in your mouth? It do great things. Oh, it's Oh my God, that smells good. <laughs> wow. I mean, it's mm. just mouth watering. Like five. five. In oh, this brewery. Brandon, man. <laughs> Brandon. Jesus, Brandon. <laughs> Jesus, Brandon. What'd it do? Hi everyone. I'm Janet. I'm Jason. We're Gumbo Bud. Bud. We're here for dark beer. And today we have just a short throw from San Diego. <laughs> Actually a long throw. Yeah. But from Short Throw Brewery we have What It Do. What It Do. That sounds like how I talk. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of the song This Is How We Do. Yes. Um, anyway it's an imperial stout with coffee and toasted coconut, which in our experience is an amazing combination. Yeah, and our favorite coconut, every time we've had coconut, the toasted always seems to be better. Definitely. Yeah, and I think it adds to the roastiness of the malt and yep. everything when you do a dark beer, mm -hmm. so and yeah. And she is an 11%. Yes, right right up there. Yes. Once again, we haven't done, it seems like it's been a while since we've done some heavy beer, so mm -hmm. 11% 11, 11 is good, so. Yes. Yeah, uh, Imperial Stout, and uh, this beer is sold, it's actually produced and sold by 12% Beer Project out of New Haven, Connecticut, but uh, Short Throw is owned by Brandon Tolbert, mm -hmm. and he's the owner and brewer, so he's like a contract brewer, but uh, he must love the facilities there at 12%. And or know some people there and just has a, have a great relationship. Mm -hmm. So that's where he produces all his beers for short throw. Yeah. But he's out of Virginia, Richmond, Virginia. And uh, I think right before the pandemic and everything happened, he was looking for a brick and mortar store there. Definitely. So probably coming up this next year, you would think he would open a short throw brewing and we'll keep you guys posted because we want to grab more of them. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully he'll open a brick and mortar store there in Richmond, Virginia, and then start producing his beers there. So, yeah. um, but Brandon, we have, we've had one before, uh, lowbrow nobility, which you can see the review right here. And we both like went crazy over it. One of our favorite beers I think we reviewed. It was so good, and since then, I've not seen that same beer. Otherwise, I'd be <laughs> We'd grab it. scooping it up, but yeah. I, I was so excited to see another variation. Uh, the can artwork is very um, uh, distinct, and yes. they all kind of have the same motif, which I like. It, right. Like It kind of like sets the standard for your, it's like your trademark stamp. So right. this can artwork and all the other can artwork is done by a guy named Ryan Adams, and he is by trade a professional painter and muralist, which, yeah. I mean, you've seen some of the cool murals at breweries where it's like an entire wall, and so this guy's super talented. Like, it's simple, but cool, and um, I love that it's colorful, and. Yeah. Um, One thing I noticed what he does is, uh, it should say what it do within the artwork. Which it might. Yes, it kind of does. I haven't found it yet because it's kind of one of those things. But I know for lowbrow nobility, it said it within the artwork. You Did could, it? Yeah, you could see it. Oh, I didn't so he kind of hides that. it in there, but it's cool. Yeah, like a puzzle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for so us drunk folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look up Short Throw Brewing. There's not a ton on uh, Brandon. He, like I said, he's a contract brewer. Mm -hmm. So he, kinda, it's his own little project thing. We could we could hardly ever find much on him, mm -hmm. but we keep finding his beer and they're so good so I know those seem to be the people though that are you know they kind of like to stay under the radar and they're yeah. moving and shaking and doing their own thing and not really out there but uh, you know everything they put out is yeah you know a home run it's so really I'm, good I'm hoping this follows that path yeah so let's do it okay Woo. Busy. can't wait to try it yeah um, it's funny how all the artwork is good. I'm glad he kind of does it all the same, you know? I know. I think it's good when you, again, we talk about going into, um, you know, liquor stores or beer stores and it's just a wall of beer and it, it sometimes can be o like overwhelming. You don't know where to start. And I don't even think some of them are um, uh, divided up or categorized no. by, 
you know, IPAs and sours and darks and yeah. so. Which they should, you guys out there should, because when we go in, I just want to find stouts. You have to go through all the beers just to find where the stouts well, are. Well, yeah. we do have our places that are yeah. kind enough to yes. um, categorize, which we greatly right. appreciate. But the yeah. ones that don't, it can be overwhelming. and. If you're looking for something specific, like if you saw something online and somebody suggested a beer, you're like, where do I even start? So right. to, to have like a, the same motif going on your beer cans, like it kind of draws the yes. eye in and you know, like, oh, that's a short throw. Right. Um, Easy to find. Yeah. Yeah. So I like that. Anyway. Yeah, so appearance. It looks great. It's really dark. It looks really. Super dark coming out of the can. Yeah. Super thick. Um, yeah. Creamy. There's, yeah, there's a nice like film even on top of the head. Um, it's yeah, it's kind of syrupy. Um, More of a caramel head than a mocha. Yeah, it's not as dark as we've seen. Yeah. Um, I'm already a darker getting, caramel. I'm already getting some aroma, which I love. I can't quite place Get away it. Yet. From your face. I know, I'm like bringing it in little by little. Um, I think it looks great. I think it looks like a true 11. percent Yeah. Uh, starting with the five. Yeah, appearance. Yeah, it poured really good. Um, I even like a little bit of lacing. The lacing's kind of thin. Mm -hmm. Not really thick, but we get those with the heavier beers. Um, the carbonation looks really good too. It was small bubbles, but I like the way it dissipated. It, it didn't hold on a lot, which means it's not going to be too carbonated, hopefully. Mm -hmm. So I'm with you. I give it a five. I really like for 11 or percent. This is what you want to see. You want to see it dark. You want to see a close to a mocha head. This is like a dark caramel head, yeah. which we like. So yeah, five for me too. So uh, aroma. Okay. I'm from far away. I'm getting like a little hint of a candy bar. Oh, wow. my God. <laughs> wow. See, I didn't get, I don't, it, like you said, it's a candy bar. I don't even get any coconut. Like, that is like. Oh, it's so. Oh, good. my God. What is that? What candy bar does that smell like? Wow, that's crazy. No. Oh, my God. It's so good. I mean, it's mm. just mouth watering. Like, it's truly. a light, light coconut, but then a lot of chocolate, right? Oh. It's got a lot of chocolate. Oh, it's so good. I'm not getting much coffee, though. No. For, for a coffee beer, it's mostly chocolate. I'm not either. And I, the coconut is is Thanks. very understated. Yeah, very understated. Oh, it's Oh, so my good. God, that smells good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's easy. That's easy. Right there. Yeah, so what do you give it? We give it a five, five in unison. Yeah. So good. Yeah, wow. Wow is right. Okay. I hope it's not too sweet because that is a sweet no. chocolate beer. Um. Wow. Low brow, low brow was sweet, wow. but it was just like <laughs> it was so dialed in. It was perfect, and I, I, okay, here we go. That's one of the best smelling beers I've. I, I think know. I've smelled. All right, taste. Like, this is like candle worthy. One of yes. those. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, taste. Yeah, that that smells like it. Like you said, that's a oh, chocolate god. candy bar. Oh god. Wow. Wow. Pure. Oof. I don't get the coconut, but that's okay. It is uh, uh, like to the tea a chocolate milkshake it is so mouth-watering so delicious and delectable and indulgent like oh this brewery brandon man <laughs> brandon jesus brandon <laughs> jesus brandon jesus. what wow. it do what it do jason What's it doing in your mouth? See, I'm not getting chocolate milk, but I'm getting really? I'm getting a candy bar. And I mm. think we found out this with the toasted coconut. It's coconut, but it's not. Like it's it complements the chocolate, whatever they're getting, wherever they're getting the chocolate. Mm. The the toasted coconut, you're not getting much coconut at all, but it it tastes like a candy bar. I'm not getting any coffee at all. It's such a no milk coffee. to me. It's the it's the little puddle you get in the bottom of your milkshake when the ice cream's all melted and you just like, you have some gulps at the end of a chocolate milkshake. This is exactly that to me. And it's not too sweet. It's so good. This brewery. I don't even, I don't know why they say it's coffee. There's no coffee. Like you said, that's that's more of a... I do get coffee. Do you? Yeah, I'm I mean, coffee. coffee is on the finish. The the coffee breath, like the, you know, when you are sipping a coffee and you yeah. have coffee breath. That's, no, I'm not getting that. But I don't, I don't get it on the taste. I get pure milkshake, chocolate milkshake, and then the coffee 
just slight coffee um, lingering finish. It's so good though, oh my God. Brandon, it's, I'm gonna stalk you. That's a dessert, I, I think that's a dessert mm. stout. Like I'm not, I'm surprised he doesn't call it a dessert stout because it is, uh, I know. It is, it's not too sweet, but it is a chocolate touch of coconut. God, that's so good. So good. And 11%. Wow. Yeah. So what do you give it? What do you give taste? Five. <laughs> it's just, it, there's no, I couldn't contribute anything to this beer. I wouldn't add, I wouldn't detract. It's, it's pretty perfect. Yeah. I give it a five too. It's, Man, it's so what good. a taste. I mean, wow. Hmm. That's crazy. Like, it, it, it tastes just like the aroma. It is like, like you said, chocolate milkshake, but it's it's chocolate and something else. But it's it's amazing. So texture, 11%. I think the texture is spot on too. I think uh, it's a five. It's super creamy. It's what you'd expect from an 11% beer. Um, just, uh, it has the stickiness for mm -hmm. sure. Like, as you can imagine, as, as sweet as we're describing yeah. this with yeah. me calling it a milkshake, yeah. um, the stickiness is right there too, but it's all just like, just right in line with what it should be to me. Yeah. It's not overly done. It's not understated. It's just really yeah. perfect. So five? Five. Yeah, I have to give it a five too on texture because the body is perfect. It's 11%. It might be a tad light for 11, but I kind of like that in the 11 and 12s when they're very drinkable and they're not too thick, mm -hmm. right? Because they can get pretty thick, which we still <laughs> love thick body beers. But the texture on this seems to be perfect. The carbonation is perfect. Um, when we first poured it, it looked like it was small, tight little bubbles, that it might be too much carbonation, but the way it dissipated, you're like, okay, maybe they, he, they got the carbonation right, mm -hmm. which I think they did. And it comes through in the texture. So yeah, I give it a five too. So finish. On to the finish. Um, I think that's where you said, I'm starting to get a little of the bitterness. Just a tiny, tiny bit, and maybe that's the coffee. Yeah. I don't get coffee, but I get a tiny bit of bitterness. That is the only place I get yes. it. And it's, it's, it's a dry bitterness. And it's just like a, a drop. Exactly. It's tiny, yeah. It's to kind of let you know that yes, coffee is mixed into this beautiful thing, but it's so slight. Very slight. Um, uh, you're definitely left with, like I said, uh, you have that sticky finish. Yeah. You have a nice sweet finish, but it's not overly done. It kind of uh, dissipates quickly, and you just have a nice, um, yeah. just a nice clean um, yeah. palette. And it, I mean, it's just so good. So, what, what do you get the finish? Um, the finish is a five two for is me. Is it? Yeah. I want to give it a. You're four. gonna dip. I, I, I knew I, you were. Wait, were. I want to give it a four point five, but the problem is, and it's a great problem. It dissipates fast, so I'm getting a little bit of bitterness, then boom, it's gone, and it's nice. It's got a nice uh, residue, mm -hmm. so I I gotta give it a five. I can't. Oh, I thought you were. No, I in. was, but it dissipates so fast that I actually like the finish. Mm -hmm. If it didn't and it kind of lingered, I would probably drop, but I'm going to give it a five because I really like the finish of the beer. I keep, I keep sipping. I'm almost done because the finish <laughs> is so nice and it dissipates really nice and dry. Mm -hmm. um, it leaves the stickiness, but it, it finishes yes. dry. So I love that. So yeah. So <laughs> this is easy. Gumbo Mud Review. Five. All fives. Like, all fives. It's been a while since we had all fives. I know. Yeah. That's always just a beautiful thing. Yeah. Like, I like that, that we can agree on beers like oh, this. this is such a good beer i mean wow i was expecting this yeah from lowbrow nobility was so good and had so much flavors and we talked a lot about flavors this beer has a lot of flavors where a lot of beers they just don't have a direction mm -hmm. much less flavors the flavors in this beer popping this one actually surprised me though because it just listed uh coffee with toasted coconut and you you kind of get like you you actually get more than that you get more like yes um you know more like candy bar uh flavors yes, yes. like they don't even mention chocolate no but it's so chocolatey 
Yeah. And probably like a little bit of caramel. Like there's a lot yes. that, that... I think there's a little bit of caramel mm -hmm. in there too. Well, we talked about this uh, even when we, right before we were reviewing it. It's like it just says two things and most people put too much ingredients and they all just um, cancel each other out. Yeah. Where I think a lot of people need to stick to just a few ingredients and really dial those in. And I think that's what he did. Because like you said, we didn't even mention like it almost tastes a little bit of caramel. Mm -hmm. And that wasn't mentioned either. I get more caramel, I think, than coffee. And brown sugar. Yes. Yes, like yeah. I get all that. So right. yeah, so gumbo mud reviews of five for what it do. <laughs> it do great things, Brandon. What it do? <laughs> wow, this and is, I love the name. Too. Yes, yeah, and this is becoming one of our favorite uh, breweries and brewer Brandon. That he he must really love stouts because he's really dialing these in like mm -hmm. almost like untitled art. Yeah. Like like I, I would agree. think these two as far as the flavors that you're getting out of these beers, they're right up they're there with neck, untitled yeah, art. Yeah, they're neck and neck as yeah. far as a the, dessert stout. Yeah, the sweetness and the the stout king will be <laughs> soon decided. It's yeah. either untitled art or so far. Brandon yeah, Brandon Tolbert. Yeah, I think we need a. A lot more beers from them to decide that. Yes. <laughs> a lot Please more send beers. them our way and we will <laughs> yeah. tally it up. Yeah, so so Gumbo Mud Review is a five for uh, what it do from Short Throw Brewing. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching this review and try to find this beer. Uh, send Brandon emails, let him know how good he's doing and, and, and give us your feedback. Like we want to find more of these beers. So uh, especially here in San Diego, they're hard to get from the East Coast. So um, thank you guys for watching this review. Click the like and share button and share it with everyone and click the subscribe button for more dark beer reviews. And please visit our Instagram page. It's Gumbo Mud and uh, <laughs> M U Double D. That's it. G Gumbo M U Double D. <laughs> uh, we always put out uh, several posts throughout the week, including our release of our YouTube videos. So. Yeah. Uh, we do giveaways and other fun stuff. So find us there and follow us. Yeah, and uh, we have another can of this, so we're going to finish this and uh, see you guys on the next <laughs> review. Right. So thank you and see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>